And CGTN's Roman Yang is in Durban at the World Economic Forum in Africa as well. Earlier, he spoke to Dr. Harold Nusser, the social business head of Novartis, about some of the challenges that Africa has uh, is meeting uh, during the uh, is meeting the health needs of its growing population. Your impressions on WF so far? I mean, the, the conversations here focus mostly on infrastructure, labour issues, government policy, but healthcare seems to have disappeared in the middle of that conversation. What are the opportunities you're seeing here at WEF? It's of course always an opportunity to be at WEF um, because of the fabulous networking opportunities. But clearly healthcare um, can, be, can be more enforced and need to be spoken about. Um, particularly because it's expensive on one hand and on the other hand um, it, is, it is a building block if you want to get out of poverty um, because health is essential to, um, to drive economic growth. But I mean, Novartis has a fairly large presence across Africa, doesn't it? Operating what, over yeah. 40 countries? Yes, yeah. A few hundred employees across the entire continent as well. Um, when we talk about Africa and its healthcare policies though, we always talk about the double threat, for lack of a better word. Infectious diseases are still pretty prevalent, but you're seeing this creeping wave of non-communicable diseases as well. <laughs> what sort of outcomes are we looking at if we don't deal with those two problems effectively? You're completely right. We need to deal with this dual disease burden. Uh, if, we, if you just um, keep in mind that hypertension kills more people prematurely than all infectious diseases together, um, we really are facing a dual disease burden. And the financing is by far not available for that. And that has, that has of course, many aspects, but we need, to, we need to tackle this. And as a pharmaceutical manufacturer, it is important to make medicines available and affordable, but not only affordable, to governments and to first level customers it is important that the patient who needs to pay out of pocket is not burdened with excessive markups towards it because there are many intermediaries who also want to earn money right um, speaking of, of affordability healthcare tends to be a very sensitive topic for a lot of african households for the most part because healthcare expenditure is one of those things that can get households right into poverty but at the same time understand what you're saying um, companies need to make a profit and of course there's a long chain between when the drug leaves your warehouse to get to the end consumer. So how do you balance these two things in tension between Novartis remaining profitable and still not um, still making medicines affordable to the end user? Um, from my perspective, it is important to start before the medicines are needed. From a public health perspective, it is absolutely critical to deal with prevention, to create the awareness in the communities that health-seeking behavior is important, exercise is important, and no abuse of alcohol, for example, in order to prevent NCDs from, from kicking in. When it comes to the pharmaceutical part, of course, um, making medicines available is, um, is an important thing, and to also continue to research new medicines, which comes at a certain price. Mm -hmm. But you know, what Novartis is doing, offering a package of NCD-related medicines at a price of one US dollar per treatment per month to governments and low-middle income countries and to NGOs to really um, make medicines affordable, high-quality medicines. What about the research and development side of things? Um, what investments are you making on that specifically within African economies? It is uh, very important to stay vested in the space of malaria, for example. And we um, at Novartis have a strong track record of dealing uh, with anti-malarial treatments. We have two phase two compounds, for example, in research and development where we've seen first um, resistance effects. So it's important to have the next generation of medicines available when they are most needed.